Hey guys, this is Ultra Steel here. We are uh, gonna play a new game today. This is just gonna be a little mini series I'm making, but basically, this is a uh, Super Mario Maker. Uh, it's a Mario game where you get to make your own levels, and uh, I decided uh, I might as well just uh, do it just to show you guys how it works. And I want to show you some of the levels I made. I think that'd be quite interesting. So let's see. Let's go to play. And uh, here's the thing, there's a course world where you can uh, go uh, to this place where you get to play other people's worlds and you get to follow pe the people who made the you know, worlds and you get to you know, see what they make. And here we have our notifications and these are, these are just messages people left on my uh, uh, levels and stuff. But anyways, let's go ahead and go to um, Course Maker because that's where I'm going to show you how to make a level. Alright, so first, let's go ahead and uh, erase everything. Three, two, one. Okay, and so what you have here is uh, you get to you get to change the layout of your level. So I'm going to make, instead of making it underwater, I'm going to make it uh, grass. So here, you can click on the land and just, uh, you know, dibble dabble on the gamepad and just, you know, make the land. So you have all these cursors and these aren't just all there is. If you click on the number one, you can get more variety here and there's so much you can make with this stuff. Like, check this out. You make your little blocks. It's just amazing. And when you're ready to test it out, you just press the minus button on the gamepad. Or anything, actually. And you can just, you know, test it out. So let's see. It's a bit too simple. Let's make things a little bit more interesting. And what's cool is you can even alter some stuff too. For example, this Goomba is small and pathetic. Let's make him a little bit bigger, shall we? Let's test it out now. Check it out. So much stuff you can do. So let's see. So you can make enemies bigger. You can have your own power-ups. And like I said, you can even like uh, combine attributes. So for example, uh, you can make this power up fly. And then you can also uh, use that same uh, wing power up on other things. For example, you can even put it on the Goomba or the block. So much stuff you can do. Check this out. That is intense. Whew. Everything's flying now, even me. Check it out. Let's see, and then right here we have some, uh, uh, bridge. Let's see. Oops. Sorry about that. Alright, so here we have a bridge. We can put Bowser here. And, uh, something cool is, if you want to change the attributes, like whatever you're holding on to, you can actually change it just by, uh, you know, moving it back and forth. So there's Bowser Jr. If we move uh, Bowser, in. yes, if you you can also do that to any other item you would get, and it just died. But this is just a test run, so yeah. So uh, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff you can do with the game, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So uh, with this series, I'm going to be demonstrating on how you make stuff and. I'm going to show you guys some of my levels. And let's see. So let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, start from scratch. All right. So let's see. But this time, instead of the land, we're going to pick the underground because it's kind of underrated. You can even uh, uh, increase the height of where you would start, like you know the starting point. So let's go ahead and uh, start things off with a fence. I'm gonna add some flame here. And remember, you can change some stuff just by, uh, you know, moving the item back and forth. So it's pretty good so far. So you have some flames. It's a bit too simple. So let's add some uh, Koopa Troopa bus. That's too easy, you know. And uh, let's put a mushroom right here. And 
we're gonna try and jump over here. So, as the level progresses, you always wanna remember, you wanna start off easy, and then you wanna get gradually harder. That's one of the big key things about level design. So let's see. So that was easy, you know, just jumping from those platforms. But as you continue, you you know, there's more gaps and there's more efficiency in your fall. So let's see. There's that. And uh, over here is the goal. Let's move that more to the right, because I noticed a lot of Mario Maker levels are very short and it just doesn't seem as exciting and it's just too easy. So let's add some pipes around here. You know, make, give the level more depth. There's a piranha plant we could put in there. And believe it or not, we don't have to put just piranha plants. We can actually put Goombas. And what will happen is you'll see multiples of that enemy come out. Except the piranha plant, of course, because then that would probably be way too overpowered. So you, you could put like almost enemy, any enemy in here. Uh, the only enemy you probably can't put in here is this guy. Oh, never mind, you, you can actually. So yeah, those things, you can't uh, spin jump on those unfortunately, but uh, yeah, ju yeah, just demonstrating. So let's go ahead and just uh, uh, put that there. And if you want to make a copy of an item, you just hold ZL and you can make multiple copies. So that's kind of cool. Let's put some vines here, might be interesting. And I think the level could use some coins, so we're going to add that too. Place them wherever you want. Check that out. All right. So let's see. It's always good to mix up some stuff too, just that way it's not too boring. So let's see. Maybe we'll put this guy. Come on. This guy. There we go. I'm telling you, there are like infinite possibilities with this game. It's just amazing. Let's try it out. And you want to make sure you keep testing your level because just because uh, you see that something works uh, doesn't necessarily mean it'll go out how you want. So you have to keep testing it, you know? So uh, yeah, I'm just testing the level, seeing, making sure everything works. And uh, you can actually upload these levels to the course world and people can try it out. But uh, in order for you to upload it, you have to beat the level first. In case if you make a level that's almost impossible, you don't want that. So we're gonna try and uh, make it hard, but passable, you know. So let's, see, let's add some wings on this piranha plant. We'll put a few right here. And uh, I think we're starting to see too much plants, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, mix it up a little here, because. It's a little predictable. So let's go ahead and add a Hammer Brother. Alright, let's see. And if things get too hard here, we can always put a mushroom. An extra mushroom, you know, just to, keep, just to reward the player for coming that far. Let's see, and for right there, we should put some thwomps. And I'll show you what those are in a sec, for anyone who's new to Mario. So let's go ahead and add some. Alright, and let's see. So yeah, we put some thwomps there, just to help the player. But let's test and see if that would work out well. well. Oh yeah, it would, but in a very dangerous manner. So let's see, uh, let's see if there's any other ways we can get over there besides the dangerous way. Maybe we can jump and spin jump. Oh, maybe that's not the best way. <laughs> let's try that again. So make sure you uh, try your level and pretend you're new to it. You know, don't just don't just assume that uh, just because you made it and you beat it, it'll be easy for the new newer player. Remember, since you made the level, you technically know where everything is, so you want to give hints to anything that would be secret. For example, let's say uh, you want to reward the player for exploring, or you want them to beat the level in a certain way. Uh, for example, uh, maybe you can reward them for you know trying to jump everywhere and hoping they find a block. 
but uh, let's see. You know, uh, with invisible blocks or any other things you might hide, you want to hint towards it. So uh, let's make it look more suspicious. Let's put coins around it. Maybe the player will suspect that something might be there. Like, they'll be all like, hey, how come there's coins around that uh, empty spot? And then they'll try jumping there. You know, just make it to where you hint it, right? Alright, so let's see. So we can put that there. It's a little too easy. So let's go ahead and add some bloopers here. Yeah, you can actually add bloopers uh, to this place. Like, on the land. Bloopers don't just have to be underwater. So let's get For the okay, do I don't know. I think I think this will be a good level, good first level. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, test everything, shall we? All right, so this is a uh, first level I'm going to show you. All right, looks good so far. Woo! See, you want to make it a little bit harder as you go. You don't want to make it too easy. Also, you don't want to make it uh, too long because unfortunately, this game does not have checkpoints. And uh, I know I'm kind of sucking, but I'm just trying to demonstrate. Oh, darn it. I so I can jump on him. Yes, I can. You can actually spin jump on those things. Oh boy. It's not good. And we're almost done, and we made it, guys. So yeah, that's just uh, the first level that we made uh, that I'm uploading. I actually made a lot more before this, but yeah, I'm just trying to show you guys the basics. So uh, if you want to delete your level, uh, just click the reset button. But I'm not gonna do that because I kind of want to keep this level now. Uh, if you want to, if you make an edit, for example, uh, you know, you make something you don't want to make and you just want to take it back, you can press the little dog icon in the bottom right corner and you can undo it. Just kind of like how you use a computer all right so uh yeah just play around with this uh try to combine as much tributes as you can and you can get some interesting stuff so yep that is mario maker the first part and uh i'll probably upload some other levels soon so i'll i'll show you a playthrough of that so thank you guys for watching this is ultra still here and we are starting a new mini series called Mario Maker Levels. So I'll show you my Mario Maker Levels and we'll see what happens. So thank you guys for watching, take care, and I will see you later. Peace.